What's up guys, X24758, Nicholas Rice, uh, here to talk about a communications case, a do-it-yourself communications case. Um, this is a project that took me a while to design and build, but uh, hopefully this will shorten the learning curve for you guys. So, I built it out of the Pelican 1520 case. This is a, uh, a case that is readily available, you can get them online. Um, so let's take a look. Let's get it powered up. So this is a alternate power source backup just in case the internal battery goes dead. We flip this switch right here. You can see the power come on and uh, it gives you a volt reading. What this case is supposed to do, what I designed it to do, is to charge any battery that I could encounter in a survival uh, scenario. Um, which anything from car batteries, night vision equipment, radios, cell phones, uh, anything like that. Anything that you would need to do, this can do it off of the truck and off of solar. So we're going to jump into some of the aspects on how this case is designed as far as communications. Then we'll go into the extras such as uh, solar and um, some of the charging equipment for batteries cars, things like that. So what we're going to jump into is the radio and how that is designed into the case. I use the FT8900R radio. It is a ham radio device that you can program. Um, always keep your manuals with you because uh, learning how to manually program these things is better than digitally programming them through the laptop just in case you find yourself in an area where the towers are not um, programmed uh, already so you can do it manually through this book 